Hello, I'm Elizabeth Monroe Potter. I'm participating in the Lennox and Addicton Studio Tour this September 9th and 10th. I want to welcome you to my studio where I make pottery. I've been potting for about 30 years. So my work has gone through a lot of different stages and styles and transitions. And right now I'm working on some functional work. So what kind of things do you make? Well, I'm working on doing everyday items like mugs, bowls, platters, things that you use in the kitchen um, that, you, that are really tactile. You, I, especially a pottery mug, you put it in your hands and you put it to your mouth. Like There's nothing more personal than a mug. So I, I, like, I drink a lot of coffee. And I think a good mug is really important. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw a mug right now. I'll show you how I do it. So I've got about 500 grams of clay here, maybe a little more than a pound, and center it. This is what takes a long time to learn how to do. I compare throwing on the wheel to learning a musical instrument. You can bang out chopsticks after a couple of hours, <laughs> but it takes years to learn to play a concerto. You know, it's there's a lot of a lot of muscle memory, a lot of practice that goes into throwing on the wheel. And throwing a basic cylinder is one of the the hardest things to do because the clay wants to fly out. <laughs> um, so to keep it going straight up, you actually work in the opposite direction and make sort of a cone. Because it's easy for it to, to pull it out, but it's more difficult to keep it going straight. Forcing the clay from the bottom of the wheel up the sides. Then I can press the rim so the rim is nice and strong. Then I smooth out my throwing lines with a rib. I'm just using the inside of my the inside fingers there to push against the rib. Take a little bit of pressure. I was just gonna, um, we're very excited to have you part of the tour. Oh, well, thank you.